January the 8th, 2024. I say praise God and thank him for another day of life. Today, I just want to jump on here and say, you did it. You made it. It's another day. It's Monday. Pull yourself up with your bootstraps. Go out and get what chores. You know, it ain't so much whether you care about yourself or, or how you dress or look or, or, or even all the way down to the bare necessities of, of, of what you think you need and don't need. Well, there's people around you that you've decided to bring into your life that you've made a commitment to and uh, married a woman or maybe had kids and you, you could probably eat dirt and live. But there's people that need you today. I know if you're sitting there strung out on meth and heroin and uh, or shooting fentanyl, you're not probably sitting through a three minute video and listening to me talk about why you need to get better. But the fact of the matter is, if you don't care about yourself or, or whatever, care about the people around you. You know, it took me a lot of years and I still grow today and I still fail today. But I am I, I see people around me that have been hurt and tore down and, and as imperfect as I am. And they see every imperfection about that I have. But they also see me trying. I try um, to quote Phil Robertson. Get up every day and just try your best. That's all you can do if you're if you're really giving it 100 percent. What, you know, God for sure is not looking at you and saying, give a little more. No. He's very thankful that, that his name is being said and that you're doing good. And that's what he wants from you individually. It's not about you saving the world. It's about you getting better and the little people around you prosper and thrive from your decision to not kill yourself, basically, and drag everybody down with you. In, in the book of Colossians, it's a letter from the Apostle Paul. And it's chapter 2, verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men and after the rudiments of the world and not after Christ. Men have become, first of all, they it's money. And second of all, the power that comes with people looking up at you and, and thinking that you're something. Um, and, and they're using the word of God and they're making it to what they, what fits their description of what makes them powerful and, and, and get you to follow them with no clear path. Morally good. Don't be, don't be um, found falling for uh, just because somebody screams and spits or they talk in the, in the most awesome, profound words. It doesn't matter if it's not through Jesus Christ if I can get to the point, if it's not through Jesus Christ and his blessing, then you're being... video got cut off there, but I just wanted to add this little section to thank you. Thank you for watching my videos, for you people that, that share my videos to other people. I appreciate you. Um, if you can get somebody that might be struggling from drugs or their family to listen, so they might be able to learn and hear things that help them, it's greatly appreciated. Listen, I lived 22 years a drug addict. I'm an eight-time convicted felon. I've, I've had suicide attempts. I've got body parts missing from the damage I've done to myself. Now, that's not counting the mental anxiety and all the things that come with alcohol and drug abuse. And I don't want people living like I live, suffering and putting the people they love through suffering that's, that, that the third world, world countries don't go through their families are living better than people the families that live with drug addicts and alcoholics and i want to change that so thank you for your help i appreciate it i'm not a theologian i'm not very smart at all matter of fact i'm not a very good speaker but i try and i love jesus and i know he's behind me and if he's behind me there ain't a demon watching that can stop me i love jesus christ today I appreciate his love, and I appreciate the love that I that I got from my church family. The, the family from Anchored Free Will Baptist Church stood behind me when I was going through that living nightmare where I fell off the wagon, and here I am, and I thank them, and I thank you. I thank you for your prayers and your love, and my family appreciates everything that's ever been done for us. We love you today. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope that it's not so drug out that I lose people's attention. Um, if you can stand behind me, and encourage others to watch or to listen or to even give me pointers, you know, on how to get better and what to do right. It's greatly appreciated. I love you today.
Jesus Christ loves you more.